what's going on everybody this is patrick midtown outdoors house my outdoor crew doing hope this video finds you well all right so chase's truck is getting a suspension put on it so he's driving my truck this week i'm driving my father-in-law's truck now i'm gonna get nitpicky here real quick um now it's a little bit older than my truck mine's a 2010 this is a 2007 this is a Lincoln Mark LT. Don't let it get to your head. It's an F-150, okay? It's F-150. It's got the 5.4 V8 Triton in it. Four-speed automatic. So there's something it and mine has in common. It has a four-speed, so that meant crappy gas mileage. Mine gets around 14.9 to 15 gallons, miles to the gallon. 13 on oh, its good day Whew. 13 miles a gallon now for 2007 this thing has all kinds of bells and whistles the one thing it does have that some of you may like i don't like and i'll give you my reason why is the hard tonneau now, i get it i get it i get it it's more secure i get it it's more expensive looks better Matches the vehicle, all that good stuff. Yeah, it put it on as soon as you bought the truck. I have soft trifold. Thing with this, if you have anything that sticks up a little bit too much, it's not going to shut. That, it'll raise the tonneau up a little bit, but it'll still shut. This is more secure. This is also probably about $1,000 more than what that was. So there's that. If you're trying to get into a vehicle on a budget to camp out of, not it. Not it. Go with its brother, the F-150, before you go with the Lincoln Mark LT. I think that's what they call it. Mark LT, which is light truck, F-150. It does have the backup indicators, just like mine does. Uh, so it lets you know that you're about to back over somebody. Does not have rear backup camera, neither does mine. Have thought about adding it, but I like using my mirrors. That's how I grew up. Um, tinted windows, leather interior. You know, it's got all the bells and whistles. You have your access without your key with the, the push button. Now, something he had installed, and you'll see this truck doesn't sit up very high. Older man, mobility issues, needed them. I, they hit me in the ankles every time I opened the door. Yep, electronic steps. Those are nice if you have issues getting in and out of a vehicle. I don't have issues getting in and out of vehicles, but I get it. So let's get into the interior. Leather interior. Mine has leather interior. This has sunroof, which is different. Mine doesn't have a sunroof. Rear power slider, which mine has too. I haven't opened either one because I don't think they've been open since the truck's been new and it's liable to screw up and I, then I'll be in trouble. Now, 2007, you were able to get, and this is probably gonna be louder than crap apologize um you did get as soon as everything fires up agree you did get navigation there's the navigation of course it's not up to date but at least it is showing my street you could even get if you go to the media AM, whoop, you can get am fm cd and satellite of course, it's not hooked up right now. He never hooked it up. I would have, I guess. And then line in. And of course, just like in my truck, there's a place you can plug uh, your phone into. But what I have been missing on my truck since I've been driving this is the fact of Bluetooth, hands-free talking on the cell phone. I don't have that. Wish I had that in here if you ever have it you'll love it you know blah 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 
I just wish I had my, wish I had it. Uh, mine has this. That's adjustable pedals. Um, mine also has automatic lights. It has automatic fog lights. So in 2007, you could get 95% or 99% of what I got in 2010. Right down to the garage door opener on your sun visor. Power windows locks, foldable mirrors. Um, defrosting mirrors, although this one is not working. I've noticed this week because we've had a lot of dew. And so the, the, uh, that mirror would not defrost. And that's a loaner. I'm borrowing it. I appreciate it. But it's interesting to see this is a Lincoln. So you would think Lincoln, okay, you're going to have a lot more goodies. You know, you got leather seats with the embossed Lincoln logo. You've got, I'm not sure what stereo system's in it. It does have mid-range and tweeter, I know, in the doors. Um, does not have anything in the dash where my truck, where this thing is right here, mine has a center channel. Um, I don't know. There's possibly a subwoofer in here somewhere. I know my truck has one. Uh, this one may not. This one may just be relying on the six speakers it's got. I haven't looked behind the seat or anything like that. It does have a generous back seat. They are foldable. Um, he had um, the bed rug installed in this truck. Uh, let's take a look at that. And um, Anyway, we'll, we'll see that here in a second. Okay, so, so we got the tonneau cover up. Nice underneath. I mean, it's an ARE, so it's a nice tonneau um carpeted and everything um huh i don't know what those plugs are for maybe this this stuff that's on it i don't know uh but you do see it does have the official bed rug bed rug in it so it's carpeted on the inside um this all lifts out even the tailgate's carpeted oh it doesn't have the soft letdown like mine does um but what i see is a problem i like this and this would be kind of cool for camping you could probably do some stuff um camping wise you know maybe you could sleep back here but you would you got to remember if you're over six feet tall this won't work because this bed's five foot bed just like mine is a five five bed that's why I've never gone towards camping out of the bed of the truck in my truck. I'm 6'3", 5'5". Five, five. Do the math. Um, this thing, I know you can wash it and get the dirt off of it and everything, so it's washable. You don't have to have a bed cover for this bed rug. But I can just imagine the crap that would get like this and how that could be a pain in the butt to get out in the long run. Now, the other thing about these, this can be a booger to get up and down by your, I mean, one-handed. And I would say for an older person, um, might be kind of tough. I mean, it's got shocks and everything on it to help soften the lift and all that, but I still think it might be a little, a little much. It does have a lockable tailgate, so you could secure everything in the back of this truck right now and not have to worry about it i mean you put you know if you out hunting or something guns you can put them in the back of the truck and not worry about them mine yeah you can probably get in the tonneau so there's that being locked tailgate you would have to get in the tonneau anyway to wrap up this video but i, I it's been a good truck been a good running truck it's sat for a little bit too long um it's been sitting for well over a year and a half so me driving it this week it's got some issues that would have to be addressed truck's got 179,000 miles on it but the engine was replaced at 70 something thousand i think around 70 80 thousand miles because he took it back to the dealer they changed the oil but new filter on it did all the maintenance 
told them to come pick it up, drove it back to the shop, started hammering because they forgot to put new oil in it. So the dealership ended up having to put a new engine in it as it cooked it, cooked the bearings in. But it's on the end of its life cycle. Let's just say that. I mean, the truck, the paint's in good shape. Paint's in really good shape, actually, compared to mine. Mine's a 2010. It's got some chips going on. It's got primer peeling. This one's in pretty good shape, and it's never been garage kept or anything. Um, would I recommend this for a camp-type vehicle? Yeah, it would be decent to start out with. Thing is, when these things came out new, you pay twenty thousand dollars more just to get that Lincoln on the side than you would have if you bought a Ford F one fifty, Laramie, or Lariat, Lariat. Excuse me, Laramie's the other. So I don't think it was worth that. It's just the status symbol of the Lincoln, I guess. Would the truck make a decent? It would make a decent camper, camp, you know, get to camp type vehicle. The downside to it would be the fuel mileage. I mean, I get a little bit better mileage than he does in this thing. Um, but as far as long as the truck's been sitting outside, as long as the truck has been, I mean, it's been outside all of its life. So, you know, outside of some real heavy dirt that it needs a good hand washing, the body is in good shape. There's no rust anywhere I have seen. So, yeah. It could possibly good be a good starter vehicle for somebody wanting to camp or start overlanding or something of that nature. You know, not all of them's going to have that big heavy tonneau cover on it. You might find one with something different or it may even have a topper on it. You know, there's all kinds of possibilities with this truck. I just think the fuel mileage is what would bite somebody in the rear end in the long run. Transmission. Not in the best shape. It it's it's going bad. It's it's going bad. So, anyways, guys, I appreciate being able to use this vehicle for a week. It's been great. I mean, it's got me back and forth to work. That was the main priority. That's why I'm not doing anything this weekend. Because we don't know when we're getting Chase's truck back. Hopefully today, when I'm shooting this, or maybe first of next week. So I'll be in this for couple more days anyway but it gets from point a to point b and back home again and uh i appreciate the use of it but i thought i'd bring it to you and you know show you what an option might be from 2007 as far as american made or something of that nature you know full-size truck short bed you have to remember that that's a five foot bed it's like a five five somewhere in there just like my Titans, a 5.5. Five. So, gotta remember that, short bed, but it's four doors. So if you got a family, it may not be so bad. Tow weight on this thing is probably not too bad, but you gotta remember, this truck's heavy for its age, or for what it is. It's a heavy truck, half ton truck. So, that's it for this one, guys. Appreciate you watching. Appreciate your support. The numbers are growing, and, We'll see you soon. Be prepared.